weiß Bescheid. Hey, uh, this is Pete here. Um, today we're going to review the uh, Asus uh, Republic of Gaming, the ROG G752 VT RH71. Um, it's a gaming laptop. Um, got one in the other day. Uh, it's a pretty cool piece of equipment here. Um, so, as for specs, uh, this model here comes with an Intel Core i7 6700HQ processor, you know, Windows 10, uh, 16 gig of RAM, 1 terabyte hard drive. Um, I also added a uh, uh, 500 gig SSD myself. Um, found it a little more cost effective to, to do it yourself rather than the manufacturer. Um, also, uh, for a GPU, it has NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970M uh, with 3 gig of RAM there, and just uh, the typical stuff, you know, DVD writer and whatnot. Okay, so let's get started. Um, first, I want to talk about the looks. Um, some people may disagree, but I, I think this thing looks great. Um, I've heard some people say it looks too aggressive or too gamer like but i think it looks nice um it's got brushed aluminum um orange and copper accents uh keyboard light um you know and I'm, for some reason i guess i'm subconsciously like into black and red as my favorite colors allegedly but overall i think it looks great okay let's talk about some of the other features here um so this thing you know is a gaming laptop it's it's pretty much got all the ports you need usb3 thunderbolt main display hdmi blu-ray etc I'm not going to lie to you, though. This this laptop is pretty big and heavy. Um, it weighs about 8.8 .8 pounds, but I think that's kind of expected uh, with a gaming laptop. Although heavy, I, I have used this laptop on my lap, um, like literally on my lap for extended times, and, and the weight hasn't bothered me um, or the heat uh, hasn't bothered me much either. Um, speaking of heat, uh, the cooling system in this is in this laptop is actually really good. Or great, I mean, I've I've never had it really get hot. Um, I guess it has pretty good exhaust and, and cooling system. Um, I do hear the fans come on every once in a while, although I haven't really put it under super heavy load yet, so I'm not sure how loud the the, the fans actually get. Um, as far as battery life goes, I think we all know um, it's gonna suck, um, which it does. It's it's god awful, but I, I guess that's what you'd expect from a gaming laptop. Um, gaming, I think I got about maybe two hours, uh, max, um, while just browsing around, I think I got about like maybe four hours. Yeah. Just, you know, doing simple things like jumping on Facebook and grab assing. On the <laughs> okay. So, um, let's go ahead and talk about performance here. Um, this thing as a gaming laptop is, is pretty powerful, uh, but it's not, a, you know, as powerful as a desktop, but, uh, if you live in a small space, travel or like to move from room to room. Um, or just need portability for whatever reason, uh, this thing is great. <clears throat> Excuse me, this thing is great. Um, although not not the most powerful GPU in the market, um, even for a gaming laptop, the, the GTX 970M, um, it, it gets the job done. I know it's a step down from the previous model of this laptop, which had a 980M, but it, it's still great. Um, I ran a, quite a few games on, on high or very high settings, averaging between 30 to uh, 75 frames per second. Um, since I'm also a console gamer, um, 30 frames per second is is fine. I think it's great. Anything below that is, is to me is terrible. But I know some of you hardcore PC gamers out there um, need more than 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 30 and look towards the 60s to 100 frames per second. Okay, um, let's take a look at a couple games. Um, here's Grid 2. Um, I know this is a little bit of an older game, but it's still fun nonetheless. Uh, I'm running this game on its on its highest settings, and if you look at the FPS counter on the top left, I'm getting around 70, 70 frames per second. Um, let's see, and here's Soma, um, a little bit of a newer game, uh, actually a pretty good good horror game if if you're into that stuff. Um, this isn't too graphically demanding at all, but um, still running this game on its highest settings and uh, achieving a pretty good steady frames also on the, on this game. Okay, uh, let's take a look at Marvel Heroes uh, 2016. Um, this is uh, an MMO. Um, there's a lot more going on screen, so this could be a little a little more taxing. Um, on my Surface Book, 
I could run this game at lower resolutions, low settings, and it would st- stutter quite a bit, especially when things are busy on screen. But um, on this uh, Asus, uh, I'm running it on it, its highest settings, and it seems to run pretty smooth, um, even when there's a bunch of stuff going on and a lot, a lot of you know action going on on the screen. So it definitely holds its own. Um, here we have a uh, Spec Ops, uh, the line. It's it's also a little bit of an older game, but I, I just love the story in this game and had to play it again. Um, I'm also running this game on its highest settings, and uh, there doesn't seem to be any drop in FPS except for the cutscenes. I guess those are pre-rendered and uh, recorded at 30 frames, but other than that, it runs pretty smooth as well. And uh, finally, here's uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Um, this is a newer game. Uh, didn't come out too long ago, and this this runs pretty well as as well. I mean, also, um, I, I I have this game running on a little just above high settings. There's some things I turned on, and it seems to be running pretty smooth at a pretty good frame rate. Okay, um, for all you uh, artists out there and graphics guys, uh, let's see how you could actually use a gaming PC for for artwork and how it works with that. Okay, as you can see here, we have uh, the Asus G752 uh, connected to a Wacom Cintiq 24HD, uh, as well as an external monitor and several other hard drives and things. As you can see, it runs Manga Studio 5 pretty well. Uh, Manga Studio 5 isn't very demanding. Um, it does To me, it's great because it does what Photoshop can do, but at a way lower price tag and on, on but using less resources on your system. Um, so it doesn't use a GPU, so there's nothing special there. Um, it does it does use your RAM, so I guess that that could help potentially um, with the 16 gig of RAM. But other than that, it's it's nothing special. I mean, you could run Manga Studio on, on pretty much anything else. Um, now, if you're using more intense software like uh, Photoshop or or ZBrush or something that requires uh, like 3D modeling or things like that that require a GPU. Then uh, th- that that might actually help you out more with this with this laptop. But other than that, I mean, I, mean, I, I think you could run this sketchbook and any other uh, you know art software, art rage, and and programs like that pretty easily on here, just as you would run it on any other laptop or or PC. Well, that's it. Um, so, what are my final thoughts on the Asus G seven five two BT gaming laptop? Um, for gaming, I think this thing is great. Uh, it's it's. You know, I've been gaming for quite a long time, probably about 25 years or so, and this thing met or exceeded my expectations, especially for a laptop, and, you know, opposed to to a desktop, which could obviously be, excuse me, more powerful. Um, for artist use, um, I wouldn't recommend it just strictly for art use. I mean, if you want a game and then you want to do your art stuff on your gaming laptop, I always say definitely this, this would be your choice, unless you do, like, uh, some with 3D modeling or something that requires a GPU. I think maybe even Photoshop does, but... I'm not really sure there. Um, yes, yeah, it, it runs art software just like it would run on uh, art software and any other PC. Um, but yeah, definitely for gaming though. I mean, if you got to be portable um, and you, you don't, you know, want a desktop, um, this this is definitely the way to go. I mean, it is a little heavy, but it, it never gets hot. Um, it stays pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, if I could, I'd give this uh, probably a nine out of ten. I mean, it's great. Um, so that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want. Or if you like to check out more of my artwork, you can always go to www.peeptopang.com. Um, that's uh, I'll put the link here in the in the in the com- comment section. Um, well, thanks for watching. Um, see you again.